everybody, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something super fun and actually really requested. So for Christmas, I actually got an iced coffee maker and I have been so excited to use it, but I've not done it yet because after I did my what I got for Christmas video, some of you guys were asking me to do an unboxing of my iced coffee maker because you guys wanted to see it. And so I was like, that would be fun and it would give me a video to film for you guys. And I was like, why not? So here I am filming this video. So excited. I'm obsessed with iced coffee. I love iced coffee. So I'm super excited to see how it works and be able to actually make coffee from home now because trying to make iced coffee at home, the only thing I can really use is like store-bought coffee and then just add my stuff in it. And that's good, but it's not like real iced coffee, if you know what I mean. So before we get started, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Okay, so I just took it out of the box and here's all the stuff in it. So first we got things not to do. I definitely need that. Instructions, also need this. I'm so bad at like making things and cooking and anything like that. Everybody I know is like, oh, I don't need instructions. I'm the person that I'm like, yeah, I need exact instructions or it's probably gonna come out really bad. I'm not very good at things like this, but it's fine. It's coffee, it's a coffee maker. I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. And then this book, which I love getting these. It just shows like all the different coffees you can make inside of it. And they all sound really good, so. And then we have the actual coffee maker. Here she is, she's very pretty. And then it also comes with a tumbler. I needed a new one so bad, so I'm really glad that it came with one because I had one, I got one for, I can't remember if it was my birthday or like Easter or something, I don't know. But my parents got me a coffee cup and it was really pretty, it was like pink and purple and green. And it was a Starbucks cup. I had been wanting one for forever and so my parents finally got me one. Well one day my sister took it and made stuff in it and then left it in her car. So it kind of ruined it and I couldn't drink out of it anymore but it's fine and I never got a new one. I just never got around to getting a new one because I kind of got off of drinking coffee for a while and now I've gotten back really addicted to it again. So yeah, glad I have a new cup to make my coffee in and it has a lid. Usually I've been making my coffees in like a mason jar and it's hard to take those in the car because they spill really bad. So finally got a cup and then it also comes with a scooper. Okay, so first we're gonna read the instructions on how to use this because I'm not very good at using things sometimes. Okay, so first we're gonna start by cleaning the iced coffee maker before we use it, which is always good, always good to clean things before you use it. So I need to clean obviously the cup. We also need to wash the coffee filter and the brew basket. So let's do that real quick. Okay, it's so easy actually to get the like brew basket and the filter out. You literally just lift the lid and then it comes with a handle and the whole thing comes off. So it's really easy for cleaning, which I really like. We're gonna take this and this, and we're gonna clean it real quick and make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, so washed all the pieces, everything is good. Have this back on, but I need to actually take it off. So we're gonna do the first step that's on here, which is I need to run this once with water before I actually do it with coffee. So pretty much gonna take this, and it has little measurements on the side of it, and we'll take this off so you can actually see it. And right here is the fill line, and this is water, and that is where I'm going to fill my water up to. So I'm gonna go put some water in this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that the water is at the fill line, we're gonna take this off, and you're actually gonna pour the water inside the base, which seems really weird, but that's where it's supposed to go. Never seen that before, but inside, looks like, oh, that was scary, okay. Inside, Looks like this, and actually like, it's really hard to hold this with one hand. Up here, you probably can't even see that. It says water, right there. And it's nice that the cup has the measurements so you don't like overfill the base. Because I know when I use that coffee maker over there, I always overfill it, and then I have to take the coffee maker out and pour some out. It's a, it's a lot, it's rough. But now we're gonna take this, and we're gonna pour it inside here. And see how it goes. I feel like I always, for some reason, I always stress that I'm messing something up. Like, I'm always stressed out that I'm gonna mess something up. Why? I'm like scared. It says lift this out. I'm so scared that I'm doing this wrong. We're just gonna go for it. And if I mess it up, I will cry later. Water's in there. I'm scared I'm doing this wrong, but it's all right. Um, it says add water to the base, which is what I did. And now it says put the filter in brew basket. Okay, put the filter in the brew basket, it's already in there, and then place it on the base. I don't think I messed this up. Maybe I didn't, maybe I'm just paranoid. 
I think I am. Anyways, um, slide the drip stop. Wait, I need to shut that. Slide the drip stop to open. Okay, so there's little buttons on it. Let me show you guys the buttons. So there's a little like a little slider, and we're gonna slide it to. Oh my gosh, open. And now. We're going to take the tumbler, we're gonna put it right here. So now we place the cup underneath the little spout, plugging in, press start. Okay, and now we're gonna press start. And we want that LED light to turn on so we know that it's working. And now the cup is filling up with water, which is good, because we wanted to do a rinse cycle. And then once all the water has gone out of here and gone in here, we're gonna pour it out and we're gonna start actually making coffee. Okay, she finished. We poured the water out of here. Let's start actually making coffee now. I'm actually excited this time because I think I know what I'm doing. I think. Um, okay, so now we're gonna start with start with the unit unplugged. So I already unplugged it after we did like the whole rinse cycle. I unplugged it again. So now, like we did before, we're gonna take our cup and we're gonna fill it to the water line once again. So let me get some water. Okay, so now we have our water. And now like we did the first time, we're gonna pour the water into the base. And I'm gonna put it back on just like we did the last time. Or it takes me a minute. Ow, I just pinched my finger, but it's all right. Okay, so now we are going to take the brew basket and we're gonna put our coffee in it. So I'm using the Morning Blend Coffee Food Lion. It doesn't matter what kind of coffee you use, honestly. You can use whatever makes your heart content. Um, I just use this. Oh, I actually don't ever make coffee. That was a lie. I don't ever use this, but my mom said it was good, so I got this one. Um, I cannot open this. Why are things so hard for me to open today? Okay, there we go. Got the lid off. Now we're going to try and get it freaking open. We have our coffee, whoa. She's strong, she's real strong. Whoa, okay. Now we're gonna take our scooper and we're gonna scoop our coffee into this. So you literally just Take your coffee and put it in this. I thought you had to use a paper filter, but I literally have not seen nobody use a paper filter yet. So we're not gonna use one. We're just gonna put it in here and pray it doesn't mess it up. That's my motto today. Messes it up, then we'll cry later. So, pour one level scoop of grounds into the provided reusable coffee filter. And then close the lid. We're gonna do one even scoop. Make sure she's even. And now we're just gonna pour it in here. Okay, so now we take our filter and we put it inside of our brew basket and close the lid. So now we're gonna take our cup and also on the cup there is a measurement for your ice and it's right there. They're so like, like you cannot even see it. Like I wish you could see it, kind of, kind of, maybe. I don't know, but right there it says ice and we're gonna fill it to there with ice. That seems like a lot of ice, but everybody's saying it's not. They say that it's the perfect amount, so. We're gonna add ice, which I guess is right because it does come out hot and you don't want it to like, it's gonna melt some of it down, but maybe it's not gonna melt all of it down. That's why you put so much ice in it. I don't know, but let's go get us some ice. So we have our ice at the fill line. Okay, so now we're going to plug it in, turn it to open and press start. Okay, so as you can hear, it is starting. My camera is having such a hard time focusing right now. Why? I have no clue. But I think she's starting and I'm excited. I think I did it right, guys. I'm actually kind of proud because I think I did it right. Am I speaking too soon? Maybe. Oh my gosh, I'm not speaking too soon, guys. Look at that. I'm doing it. I'm making coffee right now. I'm so proud of myself. If you guys don't know me and you've never seen my videos before, I'm not the best at making things. Like, my family channel, if you've never seen it before, I've told you guys multiple times, I'm so bad at things like this. Like even just simple as making coffee, you're probably like, that's so simple, like why would you even be bad at that? You guys don't understand, I'm so bad at making things, even if it's the simplest things. I've made ramen wrong once, and ramen is so easy to make. I have burnt cookies in the oven, and they were break apart cookies. I actually caught the oven on fire. Sorry, I'm bad at stuff like this. So this right here is making me really proud. Okay, so we have officially made our cup of coffee. And it is right here. And like I said, the reason you had so much ice is so at the end, you have a little bit of ice left over because a lot of it melts because the coffee comes out really hot. So obviously a lot of it's gonna melt, but you still have some ice left over in here, which I really like. And also I love how they leave like extra room for your creams and anything else you wanna add into it, which is what I'm about to do. And I'm so excited. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff out of the fridge so I can make my coffee and try it. And I'm actually so excited. So you can add like really anything you want to your coffee, obviously, but I'm just gonna be basic today. And I'm just gonna add my Food Lion coffee creamer. I love Food Lion. This is what my dad uses. I've not drank like coffee at home in forever. So I haven't gotten the coffee creamer that I usually use because I didn't have a need for it because I was going out and getting my coffee so much. Um, but this is what my dad uses and this is all I have right now. So this is what we're gonna use and I hope it's good. And then I just like to add caramel. Now it is time for the moment we have all been waiting for, and it is to taste test the coffee and see if it's good. So let's give it a try. That is really good. I really like that. This is definitely so good. Recommend getting one. These things are really good and actually super simple to make your coffee in. I was very easily surprised. So I'm super excited to start making coffee in this more. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching me make coffee. If you guys were trying to figure out if you wanted to get one or not, I definitely recommend. They are so good. I definitely recommend super easy, really good, and I have not tried cleaning yet, but I'm pretty sure the cleaning process is also very easy. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, let me know some other video ideas that you guys want to see me do i would love to hear you guys recommendations because your girl needs it she's running out of video ideas make sure you guys give me some video suggestions so i can film them and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day night morning whatever time it is for you guys and i'll see you next time bye